फ्रेंड्स लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ फर्स्ट आई एम मिस्टर एस के कुलकर्णी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टॉपिक ऑफ आवर टुडे डिस्कशन इज डी एल एम बर्ड्स प्रिंसिपल लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ टुडे सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन डी एल एम बर्ड्स प्रिंसिपल सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स इन कैनेटिक्स यूजिंग डी एल एम बर्ड्स प्रिंसिपल introduction french mathematician d'alembert presented a principle known after his name which is an application of newton's second law of motion dynamic problems can be converted into static problems by applying d'alembert's principle what is newton's second law of motion that we will see first it states that rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the impressed force and takes place in the same direction in which force acts this law leads to the important equation f is equal to ma this is known to us let this be equation 1 now equation 1 can be rewritten as f minus ma equal to 0 this equation is known as d'alembert's equation so d'alembert's principle states that system of forces acting on a body in motion is in dynamic equilibrium with inertia force of the body d'alembert's force on applying a force of magnitude minus ma the body will be in dynamic equilibrium as the sum of all forces acting on the body will be zero this force is known as inertia force or d'alembert's force application d'alembert's force acts in a opposite direction to that of the motion of the body the problems which need consideration of forces causing the motion come under kinetics and dear lambert's principle is extremely useful in solution of problems in kinetics now let us pause here a while here is one quiz for you my dear friends you have to answer these questions question number 1 dear lambert's principle is based on there are four options you have to write the correct option Question number two: D'Alembert's principle is applicable for solution of problems in. Again, there are four options. So solve this problem and write your answers. Here are the answers. Question number one: the correct option is B, Newton's second law of motion. Question number two. correct option is a kinetics hoping you have written the correct answers now dear friends here is one exercise for you a man weighing w newton enters in a lift which moves with an acceleration of a meter per second square find the force exerted by the man on the floor of the lift in two cases in first first case when lift is moving downwards and second case lift is moving upwards so let us solve this problem using d'alembert's principle so draw free body diagram like this weight of lift will be acting downwards first we will consider lift moving downwards condition so reaction from the floor will be upwards known as r1 and apart from these two forces uh, there will be inertia force or d'alembert's force equal in magnitude e to m a acting upwards because lift is moving downwards so this is the free body diagram now we can apply here equations of equilibrium sigma of y equal to 0 sign conventions upward positive now this will be the equation upward force r1 minus w plus m a m a means w a upon g is equal to 0 so r1 is equal to w into bracket 1 minus a upon g this is equation number 1 now let us consider the second case in second case lift is moving upwards 
the force free body diagram is shown here w will be acting again downwards r2 will be upwards let this reaction be now r2 inertia force or dl lambert's force will be now acting downwards equal in magnitude to ma because lift is moving upwards applying equations of equilibrium sigma fy equal to 0 our sign conventions upward forces positive let this reaction be r2 so r2 minus w minus w a upon g is equal to 0 will be the equation r2 is equal to w into bracket 1 plus a upon g let this be equation 2 now here one important conclusion we can draw is that when lift is moving with acceleration downwards the man exerts less force on the floor of the lift and when it is moving upwards man exerts more force on the lift this is clear from the answers obtained now these are the references for today's session thank you